morning YouTubers back on the F100 we did get the brand new brakes and rotors installed those are the cab mounts all done painted undercoated um, we're gonna move on to trying to set the engine transmission up the first step was this had a manual three-speed which is right there uh, it's kind of rare well, <clears throat> had the an optional cable activated overdrive but the owner of this truck wants to go with this big four speed so I went ahead and switched them out I didn't bore you with that or the brakes um, you know there's a million videos on how to put a set of brakes on a Crown Vic I'm sure but anyway so and changing these transmissions is you know a 30 minute job uh, took the top off we're gonna put a plate of cardboard over this and tape it uh, and the reason for that is when you go up under here <clears throat> the tower which is this part the shift tower will hit the floor pan so we'll go ahead and protect this get the engine setting on the transmission mount that's our locator those uh, the owner of this truck and I measured this transmission and that one before I took it apart and they're identical so um, this will put the motor exactly uh, in the truck where it was as far as length, uh, front to back length. Um, so it <clears throat> shouldn't be any big deal there. But uh, I, I do have a question about the drive shaft. You look where the center line of the transmission mount is and the center line of the U-joint, you're looking at about eight inches <coughs> in here, it looks like. You've got about maybe four inches so I think he's gonna have to have a different drive shaft however <clears throat> um, we got this uh, engine transmission bolted together didn't bother the clutch or anything that was uh, it was okay um, the, the problem is with these this pan really needs the sump back here it's a front sump, sump pan so we may have to modify this slightly, um, which is not a you know colossal deal. I've done, done oil pan modifications and oil pan changes before. It's not that big a deal. But uh, that's gonna be the main um, hitch in front of what we're doing right now. The engine mounts, you know, getting from these pedestals, you got a nice big, uh, you know, half inch bolt hole there and come up through the bottom or make a make a pad that bolts through there and get to these that shouldn't be that big a problem to fabricate um, so not worried so much about that um, I think everything else will work it's just uh, you know if you look at the way the oil pan is it's going to hit on that cross member and stuff there so if we can elevate the pan a little bit and get by that's great if not we may have to cut and uh, put a step in this and go in there and look at the uh, pickup make sure we're not getting into the oil pan pickup but if we do um, you know we can change the oil pan pickup as well it's not that big a deal so uh, that's where we're at this morning the brakes are done as you can see brand new rotors and he brought us some different wheels and tires that put on. Uh, the truck really has a cool stance you know, right now it's got a, a 4.6 engine transmission in it, which makes the back lower than it normally would be. But uh, the owner of the truck put uh, rear tires and wheel adapters on it. And it's got these Mustang wheels all the way around it. So I'm saying that rear end will probably come up three inches. This front end will probably go down two inches. So I think the rake is going to be about what it is now, except for in the opposite direction. I think you have a slight um, rake uh, with the front lower than the back just barely maybe even even i'm not sure but uh getting ready to uh like i said we'll put a cardboard plate and duct tape on this to protect it because once it's in there and uh located if we can if we can keep from putting it in and out a dozen times that'd be great but um when i do get it in there for the last time i'll have to cut a hole in the floor pan to get the shifter in it, we'll make a removable pan. But, uh, you know, we don't want to get 
a bunch of junk in here because you can't get it out. <clears throat> so I did scrape, put a rag in there and scrape the gasket so it's fairly clean and wiped it off. So getting ready to cut me a piece of cardboard and duct tape that. I won't bore you with that. Uh, and then um, we'll do our initial set in and see what happens here. Um, like I said, the, the drive shaft's not going to work, I'm almost certain. But uh, that's, that is what it is. So, all right, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. And we'll uh, update here in a minute how about uh, what we're going to run into as far as modifying the pan or not. So, thanks for watching.